San Luis Valley is a region rich in traditions whose roots come from a history developed over centuries by Native American, European, and distinct regional cultures. This cultural process is still going on in the valley, demonstrating continual change while maintaining the essence of its origins. Today on Valley Traditions we present Hispanic Christmas and New Year's Customs. When the Spaniards first came to the New World, they brought with them several religious folk plays called autos. In some cases, these autos were used to convert the indigenous population to Christianity, in other cases simply to educate and entertain on holy days. One such auto is Los Pastores, or the Shepherds, an enactment of the Nativity. Los Pastores was traditionally performed throughout the upper Rio Grande valleys for several days leading up to and including Christmas. Andy Manzanares of Los Fuertes, Colorado, grew up just across the border in Amalia, New Mexico in the 1940s. During his childhood, Los Pastores was performed during the Christmas season. Andy recalls, It's a play about the birth of Christ and what Joseph and Mary went through just prior to his birth. And it used to be played in the community in general rather than in a theater. True to its title, Los Pastores, or the Shepherds, focuses on the obstacles the shepherds encountered in following the star to Bethlehem. These obstacles included temptations by the devil to give up the journey, kidnapping attempts, and the laziness on the part of one of the shepherds, Bartolo. Andrew recalls a comic moment in the script when Bartolo is rudely awakened by a fellow shepherd eager to get on with the journey to Bethlehem, who says, Wake up, Bartolo, for the glorious star wishes to see you. To which Bartolo sleepily responds, Can't you see I'm sleeping? If the glorious star wishes to see me, let the glorious star come here. Despierta, Bartolo, que quiere la gloria verte. Y entonces Bartolo, medio dormido, despertaba nomás a decirle, a responderle, Que no ves que estoy durmiendo? Si quiere la gloria verme, que venga la gloria aquí. ¿Quién es? On Christmas Eve, an episode called Las Posadas, or The Lodgings, was enacted as part of the complete Pastores play. In this episode, a couple playing the roles of Joseph and Mary go from door to door unsuccessfully asking for shelter until they are finally welcomed inside. This folk drama is still widely enacted throughout Mexico and parts of the American Southwest to the accompaniment of a song entitled Las Posadas. Juanita and Emilio Dominguez of Chama, Colorado, have recently introduced Las Posadas to Chama after having organized community performances in Denver for several years. Juanita describes the proceedings while she and Emilio sing the accompanying verses. Aquí no es mi go 
on the march or the procession. We'll stop at various houses. We'll sing the first and the third verse of uh, the request for posada. And then once they say, you know, we're not going to open, we'll then in tune with the rest of the people of Amostul Savelin. We'll go on to the next stop. The litany consists of six six verses back and forth where Joseph continues to ask for uh, lodging and finally the innkeeper recognizes him and asks him in and uh, then that's where the party comes in and then of course after they've been invited in then there's the Entre Santos Peregrinos. <laughs> Another Christmas custom once widespread throughout the upper Rio Grande Valley was the construction of luminarios or wooden lanterns. Today, luminarios are more often made of candles inside paper bags, but traditionally they were sturdier constructions up to three feet tall built of horizontal wooden planks with a piece of pitchwood or ocote in the center for easy burning. These luminarios were placed in patios and yards for nine days leading up to Christmas. They were lit in the evenings when the people would kneel to recite the rosary. Benito Archuleta of Ortiz, Colorado, still makes the wooden luminarios. He recalls the tradition of adult men dressing up in frightening costumes on luminario-lit evenings and whipping the children who would not recite their prayers correctly. These awesome figures of authority, known as abuelos or grandfathers, reflect a common strategy parents have used over the ages in disciplining their children with the help of semi-supernatural agents such as Santa Claus. According to Olivama Lopez Tuchar in her book The People of the Valle, the abuelitos used to go door to door asking for sweets on Christmas Eve. The children then followed suit the following morning. In the San Luis Valley in Colorado, the custom of children asking for Miss Christmas, Miss Christmas, my Christmas goodies, is still remembered by many individuals such as Ruvel Jaramillo in Las Mesitas, Colorado. Christmas was like it is Halloween, uh, Halloween now, trick or treat now, but it was Christmas then. Uh, Christmas, Christmas morning, we also get a, get a sack and go down the neighborhood in sleds. Miss Christmas, Miss Christmas, you know. <laughs> Benito Archuleta recites the verse the children chanted in front of every house. Let us pray, let us pray. We are little angels from heaven. If you don't give us what we're praying for, we'll break your doors and windows. And he adds, Then they opened the doors and they gave out Christmas. Oremos, oremos, angelitos, hemos del cielo venemos. Si no nos dan, oremos, puertas y ventanas quebraremos. Y le abrían las puertas y le daban crimen. <música> Amen. 
winter holiday season in the San Luis Valley did not end with asking for Miss Christmas. On New Year's Eve, a dance was held until midnight, at which time a group of poets and musicians would go to serenade the houses of those named Manuel, Spanish for Emmanuel. Some of the verses sung here by Cecilia Montoya of La Jara, Colorado, reflect this emphasis on the Manueles. Manueles, because the Lord was named little Manuel, King of Kings. I have come to your house bringing greetings to wish you good day since it is your Saint's Day. I will explain to all those gathered here that since it is New Year's Day, we must visit the Manueles. In other parts of the San Luis Valley, however, the visits were not restricted to the Manueles. Rubel Jaramillo of Las Mesitas, Colorado, recalls. They used to come around in like a hay wagon, and they used to have guitars, a band in a hay wagon, and they used to come and sing verses to the different families uh, in the morning. Of course, uh, it went on till night, but by that time they were pretty well in their liquor, you know, because mm. every house they stopped into, I guess they expected a drink and a and some food or whatever. They'd have a git bunch of three or four guitars out there and and they sing at the door. Or, and then they'd come in the house and have a l couple of shots or liquor with my dad. And they'd converse and whatnot. There were those memorable moments because in those days we didn't have a radio, no TV, no nothing, you know. People tended, I guess maybe that's why people tended to be closer. Valentin Ortiz and Cecilia Montoya Remember how dando los días, or giving the days, was done in La Jara, Colorado. Yeah, I think they used to do it all, all over the valley. And then I guess wherever they went, they had um, yeah, biscochitos or panaditas. Wine, biscochito, and wine. Yeah. Cerveza, yeah. and whiskey. No, sir, no, at that time there was not too much cerveza, but they had good, good wines at that time, you know. I never did go out, I was too young. I was 
still real cute, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I remember when they used to go to our house, you know, and my mother would open the door and here comes all the drunkards in there and we'd get touched and violin and raising hell. Boy, we had a good time. I mean, they did, not really. <laughs> but I liked it anyway because I always liked music. <laughs> Sometimes uh, some of them were a good singer. Say, for instance, they want to request a song, so they they sing some other songs too, you know. Yeah. They don't do it very much mm -hmm. anymore. You know that DUI? They catch you, boy. They ain't even walking. <laughs> they <They'll> lose <laughs> you. <laughs> the poets or poetas traditionally composed verses spontaneously, rather than memorizing a fixed series of lines. They actually made the verses up as they sang. One such poet, Edulia Romero of Alamosa, remarks that verses used to come out of her head as quickly as falling water, tan pronto como cae el agua. Cecilia Montoya comments on her father's ability to compose verses orally. My dad, uh, when he was a younger man, he used to go with some men, the Darlos Dias. So um, I was doing a, a unit, you know, on. Uh, on, on this when I taught bilingual and so um, I sat him down one day and he he just got him out of his head <laughs> Valentina Cárdenas of San Luis sings in the next number her own Versos del Año Nuevo which she composed in 1982 Glenda Maez accompanies her on harmony and guitar Esta puerta está cerrada mis amigos no los veo, despierten seres queridos, que hoy es día de año nuevo. Desde mi casa he venido, llegamos en dos y en dos, a todos los de esta casa. Valentina's verses deal directly with the New Year's theme. She takes artistic license to comment on other situations, such as a lack of appropriate suitors for unmarried women. Once such verse translates, there are so many ripe oranges, so many lemons fallen on the ground, so many pretty young girls, and so many bald guys without any money. Tanta naranja madura tanto limón por el suelo, tanta muchacha bonita, tanto pelo sin dinero. Ay, qué gusto, qué placer, del día que se ha llegado, principios del año nuevo, fines de pasado ya saben que en este día debemos 
de estar contentos pasamos el año viejo felices sin sufrimientos si quieren saber quién soy les grito con muslavina soy del pueblo de San Luis su amiga la Valentina ya les dije yo quién era con una dulce expresión Dios les del reino del cielo y también su bendición aquí estamos todos juntos en este humilde rincón Dios desde el reino del cielo y también su bendición ya con esta me despido aquí voy a terminar que Dios los colme de dicha también de felicidad no one sings exactly the same New Year's verses Yet, all of the verses follow a similar pattern. The first few lines describe the minstrel's approach on foot to the house, mentioning the fact that it is New Year's Day that gives him or her the license to go visiting neighbors after midnight. For example, Valentina's first two verses are, This door is closed. I don't see my friends. Wake up, beloved ones, for today is New Year's Day. From my house I have come. We have arrived in Paris. To all of those of this house, we wish that God give you a good day. Next, the singers address verses to the people inside the house. Anne-Marie Rival, a singer in San Luis, Colorado, explains. And here at the beginning of it, if somebody knocks and then you start singing and they might be asleep, then you ask them to see if they'll let you in. If the door is not opened right away, the poet may make up a special verse to complain about the delay, such as these lines by Edulia Romero. A very sharp wind blows from the north. The doors are closed, and they don't want to open them for us. I will not come to this house any more. They don't wish to welcome me. I came to wish them a good day, and they don't want to return the favor. Y del otro lado del norte corre un viento muy sutil. Las puertas están cerradas y no las quieren abrir. Y ya me voy a ir de esta casa. No me quieren saludar. De ni a darle los días. Los días no me quieren dar. Uh, that is like um, you are coming to salute them. But if they don't come out, showing a little bit that you get hurt because they don't answer right away. Mm -hmm. In some cases, the inhabitants of the house will sing a verse back to the musicians outside the door in a call and response pattern, as in this example by Anne-Marie Rival. See, sometimes when you get to uh, some houses, you can sing a, a verse to them and, and they'll respond. They'll sing one back.
outside the house sing, We haven't come just to stand by your fire or to eat. We haven't come to ask for any extravagance, just whatever you wish to give us. Those inside the house answer, We don't have any empanaditas or pumpkin pie. All we have is love and the little water that makes you dizzy, meaning liquor. Those outside respond, We don't want empanaditas or pumpkin pie. All we require is your esteem now that we are in your house. In some instances, specific verses bearing the surnames of the hosts are improvised. Ruvel Jaramillo of Las Mesitas recalls. Once I want to remember some of the verses they sing, because every family had a name of a, an animal. And the Jaramillos were sorrios, skunks, right? <laughs> uh, the rivales were flies, moscas, right? And my tío Manuelito Gomez, the Gomez's were the squirrels, ardillas. The Martinez's were the, the puyas, porcupines. And so when they were doing the versos del Año Nuevo, when they, they used to mention the, They used to mention the, a los zorrillos or something like that, you know. <laughs> it was kind of insult and it was kind of, it was happy times. It was good times. Anthony and Anne-Marie Rival and Anne-Marie's mother, Dora Vialpando, still go out to serenade their neighbors with the New Year's verses in San Luis, Colorado, Anne Marie remarks. Yeah, we went last year, but uh, we kind of got tired and we quit about four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <gasps> but they usually they start them at midnight and they go on till probably noon. <laughs> As the verses come to an end, the singers bestow blessings on their hosts, thanking them in song for their hospitality and wishing them happiness, long life, and good health. The final verse bids them goodbye as the troubadours head off to serenade another household. The community spirit of shared celebration, fostered by giving the days or dando los días, is perhaps best summed up by Glenda Maez of San Luis, Colorado. It's an interesting tradition because... Mm -hmm. You get people up at one o'clock in the morning and uh, they're not very unhappy about it. <laughs> has been Valley Traditions. A cultural portrait of the people of the San Luis Valley and their folklore. Produced by Dana Everts for the Cultural Department of KRZA and the Rio Grande Arts Center in Alamosa, Colorado. Grants from the National Endowment for the Arts and the Colorado Council on the Arts and Humanities Folk Arts Program. Musical theme by the Manzanares family. Narration by Elaine Salazar. <laughs>